What's going on guys? So I'm back in the garage. I'm actually going to be installing some of those speed performance parts I have. The ones I'm going to be throwing in today is going to be these new shifter springs that they actually uh, released that is supposed to help keep your uh, keep the like the car in gear. And that's, those are those little springs like the deep, uh, I don't know if you guys know where the detent springs are in the transmission. I'll show you guys. But supposedly these are stiffer springs and it's going to prevent wear on your shifter forks and keep the gear in keep it in gear overall just help prolong the life of your transmission especially you know if you have k-series trans they are just known for going bad so spend 30 bucks to try to extend the life of your trans i'm all about it so let me show you what it is so these are the speed factory uh springs i, I think they're called detent springs i don't even know i forget what they're called but i'll leave a link in the description so you guys can order these and they're pretty straightforward to install the K-Series Trans, they're actually located under this mount. Uh, it's under this little aluminum mount right here. There's going to be three uh, bolts right here. So first thing, I already got started. Car's jacked up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a block of wood on my jack and jack up the Trans just a little bit just to keep it level. So I'm not going to really jack it up. I'm just going to keep it level. And then once we have that level, we're going to start taking this mount off and then we're going to take this off. And then the bolts will be right there to swap the springs out. It should take you about an hour at most. So now we got our mount out of the way. Here's the three bolts we're going for. So you have one here, one here, and one here. So these are where your detent springs are. So basically you're just gonna start taking these out one at a time. There's gonna be the bolts gonna come out. It's gonna have that little spring that we're replacing. And then there's gonna be a little metal ball. So make sure you have like a little magnet you can stick in there to take it out in case it doesn't come out with this. I think these are 12s. So we're gonna start with the lowest one right here. So here's our bolt, as you can see, right here. You guys can see right there. Then we have the spring in here. Oh, I got paint on my finger. Here's your spring. You can get a good look at that. So now let's compare the OEM spring to the Speed Factory spring. All right, so here you, you guys, I don't know if you could tell the difference, but uh, this one right here is the Speed Factory one and this is the OEM one. So as you can see, the Speed Factory one is actually a tad bit longer, and that's probably because that's what's actually forcing your detent ball to stay engaged with more pressure because it's a little bit longer. And uh, it's a little, yeah, it's a tad stiffer too. But I think, but just by looking at this, it just looks like they're using the length and maybe just making it a little stiffer. That's what's keeping your detent balls pressed against your shift forks to make sure they don't pop out. Here's just a good side-by-side -side comparison. I'll take out the detent balls just so you guys can see what it looks like and what I'm talking about. So just grab yourself a little magnet, stick it in. All right, and here's our ball. You guys can see that. Yeah, there's your little detent ball. You do not want to lose this. So now I'm going to basically set it up and show you guys what it looks like. So what is gonna, when you put it back together, you're gonna get your bolt, put your spring in here, and then carefully 
this is basically what it looks like when it's in your trance. So you have the bolt, the spring, and the spring pushes against this ball. Also, I didn't mention, it looks like there's a, like a, it's a dual coil in here. I don't know if you guys can get a good look at that. So that's also probably, that's probably what's making it stiffer. But um, this is how it goes. So you're just gonna put it right back together, torque it up, and then do the other two. So first thing I would do is probably just drop the ball in there. That way you don't lose it. So the ball's in there now. So we're just gonna put this back together. And then we're just gonna do the other two. So I'm just gonna do the other two and put it back together. And that's basically it. It's, very, it's a very simple upgrade that I think is gonna be very effective for the K-Series Trans. So after I put this back together, I'll let you know if when I put it in gear, if it actually does feel stiffer. Alright guys, so that was just a quick uh, review on how to install these springs. Super easy, like I said, you could do it in about an hour. It took me like a half hour to do it and that's with filming and trying to find some shots. So it might even be quicker. So I, overall, I think it's a good investment just for any K-Series guy. Any investment you could put into your trans to help prolong it, I think you should do it. And especially these are $30, you know. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Speed Factory because this whole video seemed like I was. I'm not sponsored by them at all. This is just... I'm just out here like an average Joe, like you guys, giving you guys information or giving you feedback from what I do because I know I've gone through so many parts and some people like factories have said that they're good or companies have said they're good and I run them and they just run like garbage. And so I'm trying to give you guys some real life information and experience with parts that I use. And if I use a part and I don't like it, you know, sorry to the company, but I'm gonna tell you guys I don't like it and I'm gonna tell you why I don't like it. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Good install, like I said, real quick, simple to do. I'll leave a link down below for the part. I got another Speed Factory part I need to install, but that will be in another video. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit like on this video if this helped you out. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're new. Stay motivated, guys. Keep making the streets louder, and I'll catch you on the next one.